Hello and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 part 11. I am your host Akib Ullah. And I am Ali Raja. Assalamu alaikum. In this episode, we've got a very hot topic. Nagamora's hot chili is everybody's favourite. Now, it's definitely one of our favourite in our garden. Now, today's video will be discussing Nagamori's chilies. How to transfer this chili plant from this container into a larger container. We'll also be discussing the type of soil that you need to use. We'll also be um, discussing the type of vegetables that we are growing and when we're growing and how we're growing. We will also try to answer some of your questions that you've been asking uh, on the comment section. And we'll also be giving you an update of our garden. Without further ado, Dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. Okay, so we're going to talk about different stages of uh, chili plants. This is the seedling stage. This is when we grow our chili uh, seeds onto a tray to germinate. And then they grow to this size. Once, that, once they have reached about a couple of inches taller, this is about two and a half inches tall. We will transfer them into a larger container. This is a four inch container. So you can either do it in three or four inch. I normally do it about four inch for a chili. Once this gets slightly taller, uh, the best way to know whether you need to transfer your chilies into a larger container, turn the pot around and see if you can see um, roots under the pot. If you can see root under the pot, it's time for you to change the chili plant into a larger container. Put it into a slightly larger container. In the sibling stage, um, all I do is I spray Epsom salt onto my chili uh, chili plants. Once I transfer from this to a four four inch um, uh, container. Again, you don't need, at this stage, you don't need much, uh, much fertilizer because the plant is too young to actually absorb uh, um, fertilizer. So use a good compost uh, uh, and uh, if you want to use a little bit of uh, um, fish, blood and bone, uh, just a little bit, not too much, and few um, uh, chicken manure uh, pellets. Few, only few, when I mean few, I mean few, not too many and spray Epsom salt uh, onto the plant. At this stage, we need to add, a little because the plant is getting a little bit uh, uh, taller now and it's getting bigger, so we start using um, uh, fish, blood and bone, and a uh, little bit of chicken manure, not too much, and Epsom salt. I also spray um, aspirin onto the plant at this stage so that uh, it can prevent, it can help fight diseases. Now, pot comes in diff uh, different uh, size and different shapes. Um, this, this pot here I picked up from, um, I think a pound, uh, one of the pound stores. It cost me about two pounds. This is a, this is a 11 inch pot um, and the dip is about eight inches. Uh, we, we intend to grow our chi um, Hasamoris plant on this one, green chili plants. But for the Nagamoris, we need slightly larger plover, depending, depending on the uh, uh, varieties you're growing, the, the, the different varieties. Some chili plant can grow quite tall. So with our Nagamoris, we, we tend to use slightly larger pot. This is, a, this is another one. This is, I, I, I kind of like this one. This is a perfect size, I think. It's not too small and it's not too big. So this is a square. Uh, planter which is about 35 centimeter in inches this is uh, 12 and a half inch and the dip is about 10 inch it's a really good a really good size for chili plant I'm going to use this 12 inch pot to plant my chilies in but don't forget to poke your holes underneath the pot for drainage some pods already have drainage holes but as you can see this pot doesn't have holes so we have to make our own drainage holes i'm actually going to make four holes here with my drill 
I'm going to be adding some pebbles on the bottom of the pot about an inch from the bottom I'm adding pebbles so the soil um, the compost doesn't get compacted on the drainage holes if you don't have pebbles you can use some foam we got this from um, from our um, packages like our deliveries and you can break them in little pieces and put them on the pot and it'll do the same exact job I added the pebbles there's about a inch of pebbles in the pot from the bottom and now they're covering, covering up all the holes the soil can't get stuck inside of the drainage holes Dad, what type of compost are we using? Uh, we're using um, a multi-compost uh, which we bought from b and I think uh, it's called the Berv compost. It's the cheapest compost we're using. So what are we going to mix in here? We're going to be adding perlite um, in, into, into our, co uh, our compost. What is perlite used for? Like, what is it good for? Uh, perlite is uh, basically says here, look, uh, AIDS, aviation, improved, improved germination, germination and for root growth. It helps prevent soil compaction. So basically what it's what it means it helps the drainage flows better. It also retains some moisture for the plant. So I use uh, we use about 25% perlite and 75% um, uh, compost. compost. And we'll be adding uh, some Chicken, Chicken pellet manure, fish, blood and bones, and Epsom salt. How much fer fertilizer you use? It depends on the type, the size of the size of the pot. So the ratio has to be correct. So a pot this size, we need about one handful chicken manure. Okay, uh, one handful um, fish blood and bone. Fish blood and bone. And one handful of Epsom salt. One handful of Epsom salt, okay. Um, and we're going to use 75% of compost and 25% per perlite. Per perlite, yes? Yeah. So one handful, okay. Uh, uh, uh. A handful of Epsom salt. Make sure you make sure generous with the Epsom salt, okay? Uh, I think your hand is slightly small, I will use a little bit more. Okay. Okay. By the way, an adult size a handful. Not a kid size. Not a kid size. Alright. Okay, Alright, let's mix it all together. Mix it properly so all the nutrition go into the soil or compost. Okay, let's go. Add some perlite to it. And um, perlite is really good for drainage. All right, together. Okay, mix it properly. Okay, so now we've got all the we've got all the potting mix uh, ready. We're going to put soil into this pot. About two third. And then we're going to add the plant. Then cover it with more soil. Then we're going to put the plant in the middle and then put soil around it to cover the plant, put, uh, to cover the uh, root ball. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. Uh, this, is, uh, this is about two thirds, okay? Yeah. So we've got soil um, into the pot, uh, two thirds. So we've got one third left, we're going to place the pot right in the middle here and we're going to put soil around it. Okay, uh, we need to take the plant out of the pot here. Place it right in the middle. That's it. Now we're going to put soil around it. Alright then, I place the plant right in the center of the um, pot. Before I add more soil to cover the root ball i'm going to add a little bit more of epsom salt just a few some fish blood and bone and chicken manure pellets but only a little bit 
sprinkle over and around the root ball. That should be enough. Now add soil to cover the root ball. The plant is in the container, is looking really relaxed in its new environment. This is its final home. We're not going to change this container. It looks really he healthy, doesn't it? It's time to give it a good drink. Give it all around the base, but don't give it on the leaves. Don't put water on the leaves. To maximise your chilies, you need to prune your chilli plant, otherwise you have one tall langy stem and by pruning your chilli plant you have side stems and your plant will be a lot bushier and produce more chilies. Now this is very important, you want to prune your chilli plant so you, you don't want one langy stem growing upward, you want side stems coming out so we're going to uh, cut the tip of this stem on the top. Bring the camera down, I keep so I'm going to show it. So, can you see the stem going up? I'm going to just cut this just there. So, now we will get side stem coming up on this chili plant. So, you'll maximize your chili. We have pruned this chili plant a week ago, it's already starting to produce side stems. Now it's time to spray some aspirin onto the plant. This is regular aspirin, which uh, uh, we take for headaches. Uh, you can buy them. You can buy them from your um, supermarket or from your chemist. Uh, I usually add about three to five hundred milligram of aspirin uh, into a gallon of water, and then spray onto the plant every three to four weeks. Now. Why do I spray aspirin? Aspirin, uh, what it does, it has a component in, uh, uh, in aspirin that it mimics the plant. Uh, the plant feels that it's being attacked. So the immune system becomes active to fight off the disease. So basically, it will actually uh, make the immune stronger for the plant and it will help fight disease a lot better. I'm using disposable aspirin, regular aspirin tablets. I'm going to be using 300 milligram, which is one tablet, into onto a young plant. But as the plant gets older, use two tablets. And put the tablet, add the tablet into the water and let it dissolve properly. Let's just help it dissolve by mixing it. The best time to spray aspirin on your plants is in the morning. We normally spray aspirin every three to four weeks. Aspirin's not good for all plants. We normally spray aspirin on our chili plants, tomato plants and egg plants. Okay, so it's all done now. So now no more feed, no more plant food until the chili plant starts fruiting, when it starts flowering. That's when we um, add tomato feed onto, uh, 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 onto the chili plant. Uh, that's liquid tomato feed we'll be, uh, we'll be adding once a week where, when the chili starts fruiting. And at the meantime, I'm going to put this in my glass house so the temperature is still cold and I'm going to bring it outside when the temperature reaches around 18 to 20 degrees.
these are the cucumber plants that we have planted into the ground today hopefully in the next video we'll be showing you how to plant these cucumber plants into the ground now let's let's try to answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking on our comment section now one of our subscribers she uh, she um, left left a comment uh, on our comment section asking a question about lemon plant now how long does it take before you start seeing fruits on your lemon plant? Normally, uh, it takes about three years before you see any fruits on your lemon plant. But if you if you have if you have a lemon plant which you've uh, planted from the seed, it can take up to six years. So don't get scared if your plant is not bearing fruits just yet. It takes between three to six years before you see fruits on your lemon plant. One of our subscribers, Farzana, wanted to know where we buy Epsom, Epsom salt from and what type of Epsom salt to get. So, uh, me and my dad bought this Epsom salt from b and Bargain. You can buy it, um, buy it from your supermarket in the bathing section and um, it has to be natural salt, 100% pure with nothing added into the Epsom salt. This is a nice message, it made me really happy. It's from Muhammad Shamsul Islam. He started off the message by saying, Salam young friend, I love your videos. You are such a great host and have been doing a great job. I want to thank all of you for these um, really nice comments you have been sending me. He asked, when, what month can you grow the seedlings outside? most of the people don't grow their plants in a warm place as a result most of the plants die due to cold temperature muhammad shamsul islam wants to know when is the best time to grow your vegetables in the ground to be on the safe side the best time is at the may, um, end of may as you can see our lots of our plants are in the ground but that's the sake of, um, we plant them because of the sake of our videos we want you to have a head start the best time is when the temperature goes above 20, 20 degrees okay so let me give you an update on our zinger plant now this is a zinger plant this is about i would say nearly three foot tall now most of you will say this is a, a nice it looks looking nice and healthy but to me this is not a healthy plant because i've left it inside the house for too long keeping your vegetable plants inside your house is not its natural uh, environment so when you plant when you sow your seed early too early what it does, uh, the, the plants start growing uh, inside the house and it start getting tall and langy. It's actually searching for light. The plant is searching for light and it keeps growing taller and taller. Now, I've seen a lot of people, uh, they, they have a um, bottle goat plant, a low plant inside the house, about four to five uh, uh, foot tall. And they think they're so happy that the, the, the plant has gone so tall. That's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. So, don't grow your, uh, don't sow your seed, especially uh, uh, your uh, vegetable seed, too early. April is the best uh, uh, month. And for your chili plant, sow your seeds early because it takes a long time uh, uh, for it to grow. The growth on your chili plant is a lot slower than your normal vegetable plants. So, if you can create a good environment, you can start sowing your seed from February first uh, of February beginning of February um, or even even uh, even January but provided you can create a, you know give them the right temperature one of our subscribers has asked can she grow her banglalau in her greenhouse why not we've been growing banglalau in our greenhouse for many years now and they seem to do well our huddle plants are looking really healthy Hopefully in two weeks time they climb up to the tray list and hopefully in six weeks time we'll have some fruits on them. I hope you are sharing my videos. As you know sharing is caring.
if you haven't subscribed to my channel do something amazing please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget I have another channel called Akib's Fun TV when you visit Akib's Fun TV please don't forget to subscribe to that channel I make interesting videos and encourage your kids to watch my videos I make really interesting videos I really hope you enjoy watching our videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share our videos have a, have a great Ramadan Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next one.